I I just like to do a little bit of a check-in. I am driving back from Little Rock. I had some business to take care of today. Um, and thought, oh, what the hey, go ahead and give a little video. I'm driving some back roads to get to the house because traffic is horrifying at this time of day. Anyway, so I just thought I'd check in and let everybody know that I am still working on my no buy, low buy. And because it's not really a no buy, it's more of a low buy. Um, and that it's just purchasing essentials and it's not doing anything big. It's not, you know, it's not buying a bunch of new stuff. And so, yeah, I just kind of wanted to do a little check in on that and let you guys know that things are going well. Um, I, oh, let me put that up, out of the way. Um, I am learning to appreciate some things um, already within this first first month um, because I did start it on October 31st and it's now December what? 6th? 5th? 5th? Yeah. Anyway, I don't even know what today's date is. I know it's Wednesday because I'm off. Um, but anyway, I am um, it's just that, you know, I'm learning to kind of appreciate things a little more. Um, I have decreased my subscriptions to, you know, my YouTube subscriptions. Um, those that just kind of were more of a, had that buy it, buy it, buy it, buy it now, but wait, there's more kind of thing. Um, because I don't need that kind of negativity in my life. And um, it's been really enlightening. And it's been really interesting that um, I just, it's been nice. I've not had any big difficulties with, you know, chosen to buy something or kind of, uh, oh my God, how am I going to swing the cash for this? No. Um, because it's all been done before and soon, oh, I'm not ready to do it yet, but soon I will be going through all of my makeup and I will be decluttering a lot of stuff. I've got eyeshadow palettes that, um, I've touched maybe once, like physically touched one time. Um, I actually have a couple of eyeshadow palettes that I've never touched. And I know that sounds horrendous, but I really got caught up in some FOMO. You know, the fear of missing out. I really got caught up in some FOMO. And it's been helpful to kind of be in a good place, a good mental state, and not feel all, you know, FOMO. Um, I'm so sorry. Uh, those of you that have seen this before, you know I've got this little, you know, hand and it's got some pins on it, you know, glitter and death metal and then uh, Loner Social Club Admit One. And uh, it's not that I'm a loner, but it's just that um, I just don't you know, I don't socialize a lot anymore because it's just so frustrating to, I don't know, it gets hard to connect with people, um, especially kind of where I live, it's hard to connect, my job is, it's um, not really sporadic, but I keep odd hours with my job, but with my job I um, may work I may have an appointment at 10, one at 1, one at 7 in the evening, so that kind of spreads everything out a little bit. So, you know, I mean, I work all day, but as far as actual appointments, it's kind of hard to, you know, kind of schedule things. Um, we did, my husband and I did go to movies this past 
Saturday, we went and saw Bohemian Rhapsody. If you have not seen Bohemian Rhapsody, please go see it. It is an amazing story. Um, whether it's historically accurate or not, it doesn't even matter. It's a good movie, and it's well worth it's well worth the time. It's well worth the ticket price. It's it's a good movie, and the guy that plays Freddie Mercury does an amazing job. I mean, he's he's good. He's really really good. So. Anyway, I just wanted to pop on here for a few minutes and just let everybody know that I'm still living. Yay. I'm still here. Yay. And I'm still doing my do. So, um, and for all of you that, you know, if any of you have any questions, concerns, comments, complaints, please let me know. Um, if you watched my last video that I posted on OCD and OCPD, it's... I posted that because I have been seeing, seeing a lot of people, whether they are on YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, whatever, and they've been making comments about having OCD, and it's, and it's very frustrating to me working in the mental health field to hear people talking about OCD as if it's just some flippant little thing. So, if you saw that video and you thought it was a little preachy, just understand it was coming from a place of love because I really do care about my clients that really, you know, that have severe OCD, that have that, that inability to function in society. And, um, so yeah, it wasn't directed at anyone and I wasn't trying to sound angry. It was a little ranty, I understand, but I just, there was, there was, there was a lot of love going out there for those people that do suffer with OCD, you know, and, a obsessive uh, obsessive compulsive personality disorder you know it's not that it's just that you like things organized it's that it does cause you some level of frustration it causes you some problems that you know you may lash out or something like that but you're not it's not impeding your life you know to see a lipstick out of order you know it, it's not going to change the way the world spins. However, for people that have OCD, it does feel like it's changing the way the world spins for them. And so that's the reason I had to make that video. And ironic, ironically enough, the day I filmed that, um, I don't know if anybody watches South Park, but the most recent episode of South Park kind of touched on the same subject and I was just kind of oh wow that that was surely coincidental because I sure had no idea that was coming um so because I have to watch I have to watch you know all my comedy central stuff on Hulu because my cable provider sucks and they took away my comedy central and um, they took away my spike tv and they took away my a lot of things and so anyway they suck but i digress um but yeah it's just that you know it was very humorous um they they put it a little bit south park and i know this is kind of tangential but you know with the south park episode they really did kind of, it spoke to me. The episode spoke to me so hard, especially since I had just filmed that episode and, you know, that I just filmed that um, video. And so I was really kind of in my feels about it. And so that, that episode of South Park really, really kind of hit me really hard. So, yeah, um, go take a look at it. Don't take it personally. Just know that you know, if, if you have OCD, please see your doctor. If you have obsessed compulsive personality disorder, you can work with a therapist as well to see about how you can alleviate some of those symptoms and alleviate some of the stress that it causes you. Anyway, I just wanted to pop on here, say hello, say I'm alive, say everything's cool, bright, and groovy, and apologize if I offended anyone on that on that last video. That was not my intent. It never is my intent to offend anyone. It's just I get very passionate about what I do. Anyway, and I hope that you find something that you're passionate about too. It's it's a great feeling to find something that you're passionate about. Anyway, you guys have 
awesome day and keep being awesome.